What is up? Do you want to play a game? We're about to give you a house tour and I want you to count how many things did we do build or make that is in our house. Go ahead, get your number ready. Write it down, open up notepad, put it in there. Let's start with the front porch. We made the Santa stop here. We made the interchangeable front porch post. We have the Christmas sign. We have another Christmas sign. It's, it's double-sided. We have a porch post, the snowflake, the Grinch behind Kim, and the door hanger. Oh. And our lanterns. And our two lanterns. And you can't see the little cement gnome down there. Oh, the tiny little gnome. That's <laughs> right. What number are we at already? I don't even know. There's so much more. Come on in and we'll show you guys how fun it is in here. Let's go see how many we have. What is up? A welcome back. If you like to do it, build it, or make it, so do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's a holiday house tour. We let you guys in and we kicked everybody out right after Christmas so that you guys get to see our little humble abode. And as you know, we recently moved into our commercial space. So we just moved our home business out of our home. So it's just now kind of coming back together. It's not perfect. But as we moved everything out, we started to take a look around and we realized just how much <laughs> we've actually built, made, or did, I said it backwards, in, in, in this house and we want to show you some of those things. Maybe you've seen some of those videos, maybe you haven't, you want to go back and check those out. So we thought it would be a good video, easy video for us this week and a fun video for you guys to wrap up the year. All right, let's start adding to that tally. We did some buffalo plaid. We have a Santa. He's supposed to be on the porch. Snowman. With his buddy Tom Turkey. Well, he's supposed to be put away. <laughs> we have some Christmas stuff, but I really love this coat rack. This coat rack looks so classy. Yes, it's one of my favorites. There's a few, I have a few favorites, so be warned. I'll point those out. This is one of them. Our bench. Oh, the bench. I totally forgot about the bench. Our front foyer table. And our gothic arch. Oh, that that was a beast to cut out. I made this sign, but I made this at a paint party, and this is what kicked off this whole channel to begin with. So uh, she this, came back asking for a cricket. It and did. It kind of kicked off everything. It did. It did. All right, we've got two rooms this way. Let's move into the office, which was previously our, our shipping room. Oh, the shipping room. All right, we done shipped everything out <laughs> of the shipping room. It's not really back to an office yet, but there are a few things in here that I thought we could point out. This artwork here, it's been hanging in here since it was Garrett's office. Oh, yeah. It was originally my office, it was Garrett's office, it was a shipping, shipping room, room, and now it's gonna be my office again. So uh, this is mounted crayon. We did this very early on, season one, as Garrett oh, would yeah. say. Season one. We did these uh, antiqued mirrors. I love them. They're gonna hang on this wall in here, but I just haven't had a chance to hang those up yet. But I wanted to remind you guys that we made those and they were fun. And they're sitting up on top of the... This has gotta go in the garage. I don't even know why it's in here. But yes, it's this is our spring hanger. flower planter. Yes, or hanger. What else? We have our... Oh, we have the clock. Our clock. That was pretty great. We put the paper down and then... Uh, sanded off the uh, the paint. The gothic arch in here is a prototype. We were hoping to offer it in our store. We have yet to get that quite figured out, but it's just hanging in here to take around. up some wall space. And I keep forgetting that this little table, which is great and has made it all over the house. Yes, this little table has been used for so many different things. And of course, on the way out here, there's a stack of vertical signs that we rotate in and out of the front porch. There's a spring sign, there's a 4th of July sign, uh, another six foot farmhouse sign that I don't know where to put. I'm hoping to put it in here somewhere. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm saving it. And I think that's it. Let's move to our game room. Welcome to the billiards room. <laughs> But our friends gave us this awesome pool table. Most expensive free thing ever. Ever. The slate was broke and we had to have it moved. 
It costs us like 800 bucks to get it in here for a free pool table. But we love it. It's the fun. kids play all the time. Yes, and it's, pool sharks. it's become our game room now. So no dining room for us, just a game room. And let's point out some of the things in here. We talked about this ring toss in our last video. We love this thing. We use it all the time. This is another one of my favorite projects. And this is the Ace of Spades, this card, wall art. We happened to see it, I don't know, scrolling through Pinterest one day yeah. and Garrett was like, that is cool. And I, I can make that. We can make it. And we used our X card for that. That was way before we ever had a Glowforge. Garrett's insistent he can make it better. Oh, I can do it better now. <laughs> I can do it bigger. But I love that. Bigger. I love that one. Uh, we did some canvas wall art over here. That was also a season one when I first got my Cricut using a Cricut stencil. Uh, the Rick and Morty under the TV is, uh, what is that? Resin, that on, is resin canvas. on canvas. And it's, it's and lighted I, behind it. I have some lights behind it. I have some glue crystals sprinkled in there. <laughs> and then another one of these projects that I love was this repurposed frame. This was a really dark wood. We got it for, on clearance from it was Hobby Lobby. Chipped and broken. Yes. And all we did was add some chalk paint, add some paneling in the back and the family sign, and it's beautiful. We love it. Quick stop on the way to the kitchen. There's a couple things here in this little hallway in this butler's pantry. And this is our coffee cup holder. We did this maybe in the third or fourth video. It is a very early video, but we still use it and it's still functional. We did this a couple of years ago. We love this wine rack. It's been great. It does hold the bottles of wine and we use it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I think that's it for in there. You guys can come this way. All right, here we are in our kitchen. There's a few things in here. Of course, we just recently Spring did this. Yeah, we just recently did this noodle board. Uh, this thing, it's it does clean up the look of the stove. I mean, I really like how nice and neat it makes things look. It kind of get to hide the mess. It does. Yeah, because you know what? I didn't even have to clean that stove for this video because it's hidden underneath the noodle board. <laughs> uh, we did our B tier tray, and this kind of sits here. We set this here in preparation for our Hello Fresh video, right? Yeah. We'll have to hear ever since. Uh, I, I like it there. And let's see, another tear tray here on our island. This has some accents from, uh, yeah, little Christmas trees, Christmas tree ornaments. ornaments that we did a couple of years ago. And we put those out on our tray this year. And then let's just move over here into our eating nook. Our eating nook. Oh, we have the old advent calendar. Yes, it's empty, the kids. Just a random door sign. It has been sitting there. I, I was supposed to put a bow on it, and I had it. I was supposed to sell it at the farmer's market, and I didn't. But I thought I would point out these mirrors. So we purchased this mirror when we moved in. We loved it. It's really, really cool. Really, really heavy. It's very heavy. Uh, but the, it looked like it was floating on this wall by itself. So we made these accent mirrors to go with it. We actually made this glass into mirrors and we aged it and it's been great. The only problem is about over the course of a week after we made these mirrors, uh, the liquid nails we used to mount the mirrors onto the frame in the back actually ate through the paint. I don't think they ate through the paint. I think it stuck to the paint better than the paint stuck to the glass. Oh, so it pulled the paint off. Yeah. Well, the mirrors are still strong. They just look silly. And this is a reminder, keep yourself humble. <laughs> and I'm hoping to redo these eventually, but it's not been a priority, so we just leave it. We have that giant six foot farmhouse sign. This is our happy place. And it is. I love it when we get the family together. This is, this is, this is our game room. This doubles as our eating nook game room. I was gonna say the same thing about it being a game room. All right, let's move to our family room. We could be here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, as soon as we enter, we have the floating shelves. I think this is a season one. Then we have some uh, wood burning that we did with the ammonium chloride. We have uh, one of our first Glowforge projects with the resin. The first wood burning project where we actually use a little wood burning tool. By hand, but we use sublimation on these metal tiles. 
Isn't this great? These photos look beautiful. <laughs> they haven't gone anywhere. Oh, and then we have the lanterns that we made, one we made with the Glowforge, and uh, the gnomes. I love those little gnomes. I forget the they're up there. They are, honestly, they're up there all year round. They stay up there all year because they're way up there and I can't really reach them, so they just stay there. What? Oh, and then that moves us right over here into our steampunk lamp that we made with a live edge piece of wood. You can't see the bottom of it. Oh, it's a fake live edge piece of wood. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's what it was, yes. Fake. Try to show you a little technique with that one. And then the chair, the chair that the cat loves. Yeah, this was probably the beginning, end of season one, beginning of season two. Yeah. We love this chair. It's it's really cool. We actually made part of our family room furniture. Now, the cat loves it. I don't know if you can yeah. see it from that distance, but she uses it as a scratching post. <laughs> That's okay. And I don't care because I didn't pay much for it. Yeah, it was super affordable. Now, right into the bench. Oh. We, we uh, tried to do some upholstering and uh, we tested it out with a bench. Well, we built the bench. Yeah, we built the bench and did the upholstery. And did the upholstery on it. Now, this was supposed to go up in my bedroom. It's never made it because in the maybe final shots, didn't we have it in here in final shots or something? But yeah. I moved it over here, put the cat bed on it, and it stayed there ever since. The cat she loves, loves it. sitting next to that window. You can She's got her bench right and her chair. Yeah. <laughs> And then, now this is a part of our everyday decor. We still have all of our Christmas decorations up, but we did make our uh, stocking post here. And with all of our kids, it's been a lifesaver. It does hold all these stockings. We did not make this table, but I love it. <laughs> and, but under it, we made everything underneath of it. We have made the star, the snowflake. There's two lanterns. An American flag. An American flag, which is normally there. It, that stays there pretty much all year round. Um, and the lanterns will stay. The snowflakes will go away. Our farmhouse sign. This was our six foot farmhouse sign. There's something kind of fantastic about that, isn't there? This is our little quote from Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's our family favorite movie. There are some ornaments on the Christmas tree. We did the ammonium chloride here and um, on a couple of more of these wood rounds. Oh, and we got the Grinch. Oh, and our Grinch back here, a little Grinch feet in the window. We were talking how to use Illustrator. Yes, yeah. This was very early on too. This is a clock. We giant love clock. this giant clock, yes. Oh, don't forget the cement, the little cement pieces. <laughs> cement planters. Yeah, I mean, all these things are here every day. We did not move these things here for this video. <laughs> Except uh, for these, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Pillow. We did the, uh, the sublimation on glitter. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a cool technique. Now we don't always keep both of these ottoman tables out. I usually have one or the other, but I did bring out both of them for this video. Um, we did the ottoman table first, and we did the carving on the inside with the X car that was pre glow forge. Um, as well. And then we did this tray where we did our stenciling on here. I think we did this on a live, on our monthly lives. Yeah, I think so. We repurposed that. Remember it was, uh, it was a countdown calendar on yeah. the back. Oh, that's right. It was the countdown calendar. And, and then, then of course, we did a giant uh, library bookcase. Uh, this thing is so heavy, but it's, it's so awesome. It's solid. It's not going anywhere and we love it. As a matter of fact, when we're done with this video, I think I'm going to do some moving around. I'm going to move it over here where the floating shelves are and move the floating shelves over here. So, you know, things change, but Breaking I just news. move them around. Yeah. <laughs> but on here, there's a bunch of things on here too. We won't spend a lot of time, but we did make those pumpkins. We made those tiny houses that are on there. Uh, we made um, a little glowing thing uh, with Cricut. Yes, we did that. We etched on it on uh, plexiglass or what is it? Um, acrylic. Acrylic, yes, with the Cricut. Uh, we did some coasters over there. We have some sublimation coasters right here. And the I Love Us sign, I don't know if you can see it from there. Oh yeah. Um, I think, oh, and we did the armrest on this sofa right here, which has been a lifesaver. Love it, love yeah. it, love it. I eat there half the time. All right, let's move upstairs. Well, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Can we do the bathroom? Do we take a quick trick to the bathroom? All right. Few more things that I couldn't get from that angle. 
One, we have our uh, blanket ladder. I love this blanket ladder. We have our chunky blanket where I showed Gary how to make a blanket. This is a funny video if you haven't seen this I'm one. I'm almost a professional knitter now. <laughs> this sign up here is one of our most viewed videos ever, how to use a stencil with a Cricut. Um, and we keep this in our home, still hanging here. And then one last room down here is our bathroom. Just want a little peek in our front half bath down here. You have to use the loo. <laughs> Let's take a peek. In here, we made the leaning shelf. We replaced the light fixture. We did this mirror to make it look uh, like a barn door. And then we added the towel rack. All right, a couple things in our stairwell as we head upstairs. One of my other favorite projects is this photo frame collage wall. We love these frame collages. We took frames from around the house. We either painted them or waxed them and we built larger frames for the outside. We stenciled and painted them. And I love this wall and I love these photos. <laughs> All right, there's more in our hallway upstairs. <laughs> We recycled and repurposed this home sign. We did this little table here. Garrett's man cave sign. We'll peek in there in a minute. It's not ready. This pub mirror, which is right behind you. And then let's make it into the team room. It's semi-clean, but it never gets all the way clean. Just be glad we don't have smell-o-vision. Yeah. <laughs> bedroom suit we found at a thrift store and repurposed it. It was uh, probably a 1980s oak look and we chalk painted the whole thing and waxed it. We did the nightstand and the chest of drawers. And then we made kids desks in one of our videos. This is at the very beginning of the pandemic where the girls had to be homeschooled. We made this desk for them and now Sarah uses it as a makeup table. A slightly less teen teen room. Our second teen room. So this, this one we started with the bed. I'm just gonna steal your thunder. Yes. I love this bed. This bed was awesome. This bed was actually pretty easy to make. Queen size bed and that thing is solid. It is not going anywhere. We love it and we did a great uh, chalk paint and we did layered chalk paint. So when we distress it, there's a little purple showing. Yeah, a little purple. That's right. I remember. <laughs> And then we did this barn door nightstand. Ooh, yeah, no, open it. We don't know what's in there. Well, it's a semi-cat bed. She lets the cat sleep under there. <laughs> and then another kid's desk and the rotating bookcase. One last thing in here, we did the jewelry organizer. I think that's it. But one of my favorites was the uh, rotating bookcase. Yes, that was uh, obviously... It is a space saver. I enjoy it. Yes, now that takes up a corner of the room, but it's so versatile because it has a bookcase, it has a mirror, it has, um, it's a coat rack or a towel rack, and it's a uh, cork board. It's, it's very a versatile. Go, go gadget. Teen bathroom, don't go in there, but we did do one thing, the tic-tac-toe with the toilet paper. We, we did that at the beginning of the pandemic. During the toilet paper shortage, silliest, it was the craziest project. We chose that project not realizing, not thinking about the toilet paper shortage. I think we found like five rolls and that was all in the video. <laughs> it got used. Two rooms in this house that we've done nothing to, nothing. And that is a laundry room and that's still builder grade laundry room. Not even gonna show you what that looks like, but that's a 2022 project. Yeah. And we already told you our master bedroom. The only thing we've done in here is Garrett's closet and his skateboard shoe rack. I know you've seen that video. If not, you should go check it out. And... Uh, oh, the other crayon one. And the matching drip art on canvas where Garrett did the wax, I did watercolor. We do have this hanging in here. I think that's about it. If you guys want to walk down. Oh, do you want to see the man cave? <laughs> All right, we'll show you the man cave. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me make sure it's okay. 
All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, it's not very man cave-ish yet. Somebody just moved cave. out. I'm moving in, but we're, we're man caving it. It's in its infancy. I have my man cave signs ready, and I have my ammonium chloride welcome sign ready. And if you guys watched last week's video, I made a joke about Garrett using these Halloween feet as a side table. Hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right, that's it. What was your guess? This is how many there actually turned out to be. So were you even close? Let me know in the comments what your guess was. And, and how far off you You need to add probably 10 or 15 things to that because you know what we didn't do? We didn't make it into the bonus room. We have a 21 year old who opted out of us filming in her room, but the pegboard is up there still. Oh yes, the pegboard. It's a beautiful wall decor. We have a chandelier that's on those stairs, along with that fake rust sign that's also on those stairs. So I just added a couple to the ticker. And I'm not even gonna add these to the ticker. There are probably 10 things in the garage that we never even got uh, to show you. We haven't, we haven't even touched on Halloween. That's All the Halloween stuff. So yeah. we have our Easter things. We have our Easter vertical signs. We have door hangers from St. Patrick's Day. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Well, we want to end this year with a huge thank you and a we love you guys and we really love our patrons. Thank you for all of your support. And we look forward to more fun in 2022. You can already see we have some ideas. We're going to be doing some stuff in our master bedroom. It needs a whole makeover. That's probably more than one video, oh, but I'm looking forward to some of those projects. I also want a laundry room makeover. We gotta do something in there, it's a disaster. I'm ready here. for the laundry room makeover. I think that'll be a fun one. All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. For real this time. <laughs>